to whatever you do. Follow you anywhere. Well, it is Saturday. This vlog here will be be going to get go to the throat, ear, nose, and throat doctor to, to figure out what's going on in my voice. So. Um, I'm gonna see maybe because Rudy's going with me and I'm not sure they're gonna let him go in with me. So that will be on Wednesday. It is now Saturday, but I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog this week. So I did just get done uploading the vlog that's supposed to go tomorrow. Usually I'm a little ahead of time, ahead of it, but I didn't get around to it this time. But anyway, we did go out shopping and this morning, of course, like we always do, we always do it on Saturdays. You know what you get. When you live in a small town, you have nothing to do. So, but I did, I needed to pick up a few things while I was out anyway. So it was like one of those things like normally we go out and drink coffee and then we just kind of like walk around and like look at things and do whatever. But yeah, so I wanted to go to Marshall's because there was a couple things I wanted at Marshall's. Um, one of them being new file folders and I found these ones here. They're super cute. I really like them. And they were, and it was funny because like, I, was, I can get some for my work, like obviously, like it's not a huge deal. And these, these are for work, they're for me to take to my office, and, you know. Because the other day I was sitting there and I had all the stuff that I needed for, to go over like training stuff, to make sure that everybody's doing the training they're supposed to, and like if we're meeting the requirements we're supposed to, so I had all the paperwork. And I was like, I don't have any file folders to put them in. Like I have my little hanging ones, but I wanted like a file folder so I can pick it up and look at it and take it with me to a meeting and be like, this is what we need to be doing, you know, whatever. And so I was like, I could just get a regular plain old manila envelope here, D envelope, manila folder here. I was gonna call it a manila, is it, it's called a manila folder? Is that what, was that a manila envelope? I don't know. Anyways, the tan looking ones, you know. But then I was like talking to my, my office mate and I was like, you know, I really want cute ones though. Where can I get cute ones? And so, but then I was like, you know what? I can go, let me just go see what we have in our little area, like in our little supply area to see maybe we just have some, I'll just use those. Like it's not a huge deal. I don't really need file folders, fancy file folders. You know what I mean? And so I went and looked and they didn't have any new ones. They had a bunch of ones, I guess people had cleaned out office stuff and stuck them all in there. And so like some of them were okay looking, like they looked newer. I wouldn't say new, but newer. Uh, but they, they have stuff on the tab part. They had like, writing up here on the tab part. So I was like, then I have to white them out and I just really don't want to do that. So, but I couldn't find any new ones. So I didn't have these old ones. So um, I was figured, you know, when I got to Marshall's, I always have like packets of file folders. I'll see what they have. So we have to have something cute, whatever. So at first I couldn't find it at all. Then I found them finally and they only had two. They had two different kinds. They had ones that had like flowers and stuff on it, which I was like, not really my style, but they're okay. I mean, they're not super, you know, whatever. Then I saw these ones and I think it's because it's all spring stuff. So they're just doing like spring items. And, but I found, so I found these ones. Oh, they're really cute. I think they have, I think they're oranges, right? Those are oranges. But I, I really like them because I like the blue one. So, um, and they were $4.99 for a pack of 10, I believe. Set of, I would good in half. 12, oh, just 12. Um, so 12 for five bucks, wasn't too bad. So it comes with these pink ones, which I mean, are not bad. And they are kind of like, I just like the little like kind of retro-y like, I don't know how to describe it. Like they're just kind of cute. These are yellow, like a pale yellow. And then this is the blue. So in the blue, right, this one here has a sticker I need to get off of it, but yeah, so cute. So I'm really excited about this. So got some new file folders, got some lint rollers. I have, I had to take the one that was, so we're almost out of the one that we're, it's in our bathroom. I mean, if I wear dark clothes, when I go to work, I have to, obviously roll off myself because of the dogs and the cats. And so I usually keep one in the bathroom and I'll usually use that before I leave the house. But sometimes I, obviously I pick it up still because it's fur and I pick it up still and I get to work and I'm like, oh man, I still got some, or I mess up a spot. So I took the other one that we had, I took that to work. And so that's in my desk at work. So we need another one because we're almost out here. And I also want one in my car because I like to have it in my car so I can kind of roll along the dashboard or along, you know, like, areas or like the seats or something and get the light and stuff off your seats or like the hair or whatever, you know, I don't know, whatever. So I always keep, I always have, try to have one in my car. So this was a pack of three, they were five dollars and and that's a pack of three of 120 per roll. So that, I think that was a pretty good deal because they had other ones that were two packs for $4.99. So I'm like, it's a dollar more for me to get a whole extra roller. I also need snack items. So, and I usually try to get them there because they sell like smaller individualized packets. And I like to have that so I'm not like digging my hands and 
like getting it. I, I just don't really like doing all that. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little extra on that part. But they have these actually on clearance. These are peanut butter and almond flour blondies. I got another one of the blondies a couple weeks ago and I really liked them. And the, anything with peanut butter, I love peanut butter. So I was like, oh, that sounds like a good one. So I got those. They were on clearance for four fifty, dollars but they're kind bars. They're cute. Nice. I also got these antioxidant snack like nut mixes. They have different nuts and stuff in them. This one here had almonds, dried sweetened cranberries, and blueberries, cashews, and papitas or sunflower seeds. Um, not sunflower, pumpkin seeds. So yeah, so I got that. And that comes with 15 bags and they're one ounces each. I think they were $8.99, so, so, got that. And then, no longer a teacher, so I can chew gum whatever I want. Um, sorry, I hear a weird noise. Anyway, so, I chew gum at work, and I ended up getting this one, because I just wanted gum one day, and I was at, at Marshall's, so I was like, oh, I want to get gum. So, and this was up by the register, you know, or, no, it wasn't. This one was, I think, back with the snacks and, like, the, the candies and stuff. But now, I guess, they keep them all at the register, because I didn't find them in that area anymore. But I just happened to be, like, sitting there, I'm like, oh, I needed, I wanted gum. And so, and I really like these. And they're made with something else that's not aspartame. I forgot what it is now. Is it, it might be the taco, taco ferros, yes, I don't remember now. But yeah, so they're made with aspartame. So, but I really like them and they're so 72 of them for $4. And it's nice, I just get a little packet and I just take one out and eat it whenever I feel like eating a piece of gum. Um, which I do quite often because when you're doing stuff and you're typing on a computer and like, you can, I don't know, I need to be doing something else at the same time. I'm very like, I'm one of those people that I need like extra going on at the same time. So it's like, I always need to be like fidgeting and doing things. So it helps me with that. But yeah, so that's everything I got today, I think. No, it wasn't. I also got some shirts. I forgot they're behind me. This one here I saw a couple weeks ago when I went there and I really liked it. And then today when Rudy and I went there, I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> it was $17, so. Um, but it's cute. It's kind of these, like, I don't know, for some reason I'm into the style of shirt right now. They're kind of like these, like, kind of retro style, like, like looking things. But, and it's like, so it's like a woven see-through, like. And I will wear something underneath it, because I'm not that kind of person. Nobody wants to see that. But yeah, so I thought that was cute. Um, I don't know what color shirt I can wear, wear underneath it, but, but yeah. So that was $17 for that one, and I, the same one. I got another one. This one was actually right next to this one. And I got this one here. And it was also $17. And it's another one of that same kind of style. But it's not see-through. It is like that. So, and it's kind of, it's not button on the top, but. I think I, I got other ones. I can't remember if I showed them before, but I got other ones that are similar to these, but I just really like them. They're like, like I said, they just kind of have this like vintage vibe with, and they're just nice looking. They're like, it's a nice fabric. Like this fabric here is really nice. It's like really soft. So, there we go. So, you close. I seem to be buying a lot of clothes lately. Um, it's just because I wear them for work so often. And I and I, it's one of those things where sometimes I think like when you wear nice clothes, it makes you feel better. And so I feel like if I'm wearing, if I'm dressing cute and everything, like it makes me feel good. So you should do what feels makes you feel good, as long as it's not hurting anybody or hurting yourself. So anyway, that was that. And so the next time we talk, we probably will be heading off to maybe heading off to go find out what's going on in my throat and my voice. Hello. So I'm going to share with you guys because I just got my um, new AirPod case. It's this leather case. I ended up ordering it on Amazon because when we went shopping I couldn't find anything I liked. So it's Crazy Horse Dark Brown. I don't know what, like, what Crazy Horse means. Dark Brown is a color. So, uh, but it was like $25. Got a coupon. So there's that. And this is what it looks like on. It's a little different than I thought it was going to be, but still going to work. But it's still super cute. I like it. And it is real leather, according to the way it looks. So yeah. So, if you can see that. So yeah. It's real leather inside, it says. I mean, like, part of it is a hard shell, so it could be fake. I don't know. Pretty cool. I'm happy with it. So, there you go. Bam. So I'll share that with you guys. But, get back to work, I guess. Hello. It's my outfit. Isn't that cute? This is that shirt I was talking about. Yeah, and they have green pants on, and they match the... And something happened today, so nothing bad. Things are getting better when I'm taking my Zoloft and everything. I think I've been on it now over a month, and I think, I can't remember now. But, you know, so I, I tried noticing like yesterday and today, like even today, like I noticed that when I was in meetings and stuff, I was a lot more vocal and like, 
I don't know, I just didn't feel as hesitant to speak up about things. But this afternoon, I can tell that like, and maybe it's like, as like the day goes on, it kind of wears off. I started feeling like I started getting those negative thoughts. It's Cause like, there's just some people, I love my job and everything, but like there's some people that feel like maybe, and I, know, I think it probably is more personal, it's more of a personal thing where I don't feel like I'm doing enough for certain groups. And so they send these messages that are like, hey, we're looking for training for this. And I'm like, nobody asked me, nobody even talked to me about it. Like I could do that, I could look into it, whatever. So one of those situations happened. And again, it wasn't, I, I think I started taking it personal, but it wasn't. I don't think it was meant to be that way, but it's something that I felt like, you guys could have reached out and just asked me, you know, like, hey, can you look for training on this? Cause we're like, you know, we want that or whatever. So I started getting like in my head about it. Okay, Dory, you're gonna get down. And started thinking like, I don't know, I just started getting those negative thoughts of like, oh, I'm not doing enough. Like people are gonna think I'm not doing work or whatever, you know, whatever. And then as I'm thinking that, I get this email and it says, Hey, Jeremy, I just wanted to say, you know, also my, my boss was CC'd on it too. Um, hey, I just wanted to say like how proud I am of you and how much you just have stepped up in your initiative with things. And it was off of something that happened, was it last week or the week before? I think it might've been the week before where I put a training up on our LMS, which is our learning management system, because we couldn't figure out how to track the training properly. And so, and it wasn't even my idea. Rudy's the one that brought it up. So he was like, hey, why don't you put on your LMS? And I was like, I don't know if I can do that. So I went and looked it up. I could, so I went ahead and did it. Everybody loved it. I had a little quiz at the end and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So they can get a little certificate saying that they completed it, whatever. And then it allows us to track it because by, for state stuff, we can track those kind of trainings and things. And so it was off of that saying like, wow, I'm so proud that you did that. You know, you took initiative just jumped in, found a way of doing it. You're very innovative, whatever. And I was like, wow, like it was one of those, one of those things where I'm like, it was at that moment where I was having negative thoughts. I get this email that was like, hey, you're doing a great job. Maybe two minutes later, I get a message from my boss also on there. Yes, Jeremy, I totally agree. Jeremy, you're doing awesome, you know, thank you or whatever, you know. So I just wanted to say like, it's just those little things. Like, I don't think you realize how words could change how somebody feels, you know? Apparently I've been talking a lot today because my voice is getting really bad. Um, tomorrow's a big day. I'll find out what's going on, hopefully. I don't know, I'm hoping it's what I think it is. I hope it's not anything bad, you know, but it is kind of scary, you know, but it is what it is. And nothing I can do about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. This is something I, I have no control over this, whatever is happening, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna go change so I can do some other stuff before just we're just getting dinner this week and so I can just relax. Yeah, I did not, I did not get the answers I was looking for, but I got answers. So I thought I was gonna have a nodule, or you know what I mean? Like I just thought it was gonna be something. So anyway, but it was really, it was a really strange experience. Um, I will say that. And so then she was kind of going over what was gonna happen. And so she had like this, it like a, I don't know how to describe it. Like this like gun triggery thing and it had like a long tube that came out and at the end was the camera. And so, um, so they stick that on your tongue and she holds your tongue down with some gauze and I have to say, e, 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 you don't do that kind of thing. He, 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 it was so weird. Um, so I had to do all that. And then like in front of me is a screen where I can watch my vocal cords and everything. I did not realize what the inside of your throat looks like. Like, I guess I just didn't think about all. <laughs> like, I didn't realize there was a flap that flaps up and down that stops like from your windpipe. 
Didn't know that. So they looked, they said everything looked good. They were like, you know, like there's no infection, there's no nodules, um, there's no redness, like there's nothing that was really causing the issue besides the fact that my vocal cords were not closing. So they weren't closing all the way. Doc had to come in and like finish all of it, but like basically, you know, because they're not closing, it's that's where I'm getting it. So my, my vocal cords are weak and they're getting tired throughout the day. So I start to lose my voice. Um, basically, the only way to fix it is for me to go to probably a vocal therapist and, and do some exercises. They said I may not even fix the problem, and they said that um, another option is to have like this stuff injected into your vocal cords that plumps them up and causes them to close all the way. He came in basically it was like. He freaked me out. Like, I seriously was at the point of like, okay, it wasn't what I thought, but like, not a big deal. He comes in and he was like, okay, have you lost a bunch of weight recently or anything? I was like, no. And he's like, because what you have is not typical of a person your age. He was like, you have something that an 80 year old woman has when she is realizing that her singing voice is not as good as it used to be. Um, her vocal cords have been overextended and have been stretched out. And I'm like, oh, so I'm an 80 year old woman at this point. So yeah, so I have an 80 year old woman's vocal cords apparently. I just told them I'm gonna think about the vocal therapy. I need to kind of find out like, I was gonna see if there's some way maybe I can do it at home and like maybe there's stuff out there on the internet. You know, the internet has everything now and maybe they have the exercises there and I could just do them and not have to pay for the vocal therapist. So that's kind of where I'm at. I, I don't know what to do. Um, so I'm gonna do some more research. Um, I tried to research when I was, like Rudy was at Joanne, we went to Joanne Fabrics. How cute are these notebooks? And there's cute. They're all at Joanne. Oh, and there's cute too. I like that one. More on this side. This one here I absolutely love. That one's so cute. It's like, what can I do with a notebook, you know? These ones are embroidered. Pretty cute. Um, that's what I was showing you guys all, which I'll show you guys all that too. Um, the Those cute little notebooks and everything, those are Joanne's. And, um, he was looking at sewing stuff and I was getting bored. <laughs> so I started looking at like the stuff about it online. I found one website that had some like um, exercises that I can do. So I'm gonna, like I said, I've been kind of looking into more of that before I go and spend a bunch of money on it. So, um, oh God, you scared me. <clears throat> I was not expecting, because I can't hear because of the freaking Rima coming in. What's up? Can you help me? They're like hydro. Right back. The hydro. That's a ridiculous amount of money for a freaking basket. Like seriously, thirty dollars. More planner stuff. Okay, so are these not clearance? For all the teacher people out there. Cute. Oh, look at the socks. Those are cute.
All right, so back to where I was. Sorry, I had to go help Rudy with his. He got a new battery for his car, and we had to go. I had to go help him fix that. So um, he did most of the work. I just stood there. But so I don't remember where I was at with that story. But um, so yeah, basically, I'm just gonna kind of do some research on the voice issue and see what I want to do. But anyway, and then we also went to Joanne, which I, I talked about already. Uh, we went to Barnes and Noble, and I picked up two. <laughs> Frida McFadden books. I've heard about, I mean, I see her books all the time. And actually, was, I watched a vlog and some guy was talking about, he read this book and then he was reading the next one in this, I guess the second book in this one. Um, I may not read, but I have no idea. It was on a Facebook group I saw, somebody had posted some books that Aldi was selling, which I need to go check them out. Um, and they had some Frida McFadden books, but they didn't have these two. That I'm gonna talk about in just a second. Um, they didn't have like the housemaid, but a lot of people were on there saying like, just get the McFadden, like someone was asking, and they're like, oh, get the McFadden books, they're really good. So I had a lot, there was a lot of people that were saying that her books are really good, or their books are really good, I'm not really sure their identity. Um, and they're probably typical stillers, but um, so I got the housemaid, and then Rudy was getting another book that was a buy one, get one 50, so then I went ahead and got this other one, The Crow Worker. The funny thing is, I think in the last vlog, I, we were at Walmart and I picked up The Teacher by McFadden and I ended up putting it back. And I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know. I'll see how these ones go and see if I like McFadden's work before, or yeah, before I decide on anything else. So, of course, more books, gotta get more books. Um, and then I was looking for a shirt. If you remember that shirt I wore, I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday I wore it? Yeah, that had like the netting kind of look to it and it had like the green stripes that I wore yesterday. Um, I was wearing a gray shirt underneath that, and I wanted a kind of tan cream shirt. And so I ended up, when we were at Michael's, I just ended up picking up a Bella in Canva. No, this is American Apparel um, tee. It was like, I don't know, $10, I think, maybe 30% off, I can't remember. But um, so I got that to wear underneath it, because a lot of times I wear like colored tees a lot. So and that's that. So I'm going to try to get this edited, or some editing done, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that was it. I, I feel like I, like I said, I have answers, but I wasn't what I was expecting. And so now I need to figure out what to do. But so there we go. That's what's going on in my voice. It's a bowing vocal cord. So at least it is a bowing. You know what I mean? So, so I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do a little bell notification to get notified every single time I post. Follow me on my social media that's listed down below. And until next time, please don't forget to always be you. Bye.